Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to Tyler Create. If you're not already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell while you're at it so you don't miss any of my videos. This is a continuation of my Fruit Girl series, and in today's illustration, we're going to be working on watermelon. And for this illustration, I was inspired by a YouTuber. Uh, her name is Shamar Moore, not the actor, <laughs> but it's spelled a little bit differently. And she recently cut her hair um, to do the big chop because she's natural. And so um, I really enjoyed watching her video and seeing how her hair turned out. But after she cut her hair, she dyed her hair pink. And I just automatically started to draw her because it just looked so good. Like I really wanted to draw her. And not to mention, she's also a really good makeup artist and her makeup just looked really good. And I just decided, hey, why not go ahead and draw her? And so once I saw the color of her hair, it just inspired me to start this collection back up. So even though this is the second video in the series that I'm starting back up again, this was the image that started the whole series back up again. I'm all over the place, but this is what inspired me to get back into doing my Fruit Girl series. And I'm really excited that I got back into it because my art style has changed a little bit. I'm understand, understanding my materials a lot more. And I don't know, I'm just really excited about the summer. And I felt like summer was a perfect time to start the series back up. Now you can see that as I'm laying down my skin tones, I will start down with a sort of like the contour map for um, how makeup is done these days. And it really helps, actually. If you watch a lot of makeup videos, you get inspired to do different makeup looks on your characters yourself. If you do um, characters or people, draw people. And so that really helped me to get inspired for what fruit I was going to choose for this one. I also went in and invested more money in markers because I was kind of lacking in skin tones. So I went ahead and got some more of those. Then I also went to get more neutral tones and just basic markers that I needed that I couldn't work without. Um, and also what I did was gone, gone, I went ahead and got um, more grays so that I can change the saturation of my colors that I do have. But yeah, I didn't really know what I wanted to do for her top so I just went ahead and uh, got inspired by the, the rind of a watermelon. And it kind of went along. I actually like this top a lot. Um, but enough of the long talking. Um, for this illustration, um, I kind of wanted the top to not match the hair. I wanted to like kind of be more free with this. And this is what I got. On a different note, things not rego regarding art really. Um, I don't think I'm going to focus that much on YouTube anymore as I have been in the past few years, which hasn't been like extremely uh, consistent, but I just don't think that my platform on other social media websites are as high as they could be so that I can promote my work here. Um, I guess I could use the, I guess, formula that every other YouTuber uses and start here and just hope that people find me but I just don't feel like that I'm reaching the masses if you will and I don't feel like I'm reaching my full potential as far as people that want to watch my videos the art community here on YouTube or on Instagram so once I figure out how that's gonna work out I probably will be focusing more on YouTube but for now I'm going to continue to build my portfolio on Instagram uh, you can follow my work there I'll leave my Instagram down below but yeah, I don't feel like um, as many people are watching me, my views have decreased heavily. And I'm not like some big YouTuber, so it's not like people are unsubscribing to me or not getting my notifications or anything like that. But I just feel like my, my work could be put in other places other than YouTube at this point. I will continue to upload videos, however, but they just won't be as frequently or as well thought out as the ones that I'm working on now. Um, I just feel like, not that I'm not heard, but I feel like um, 
I need to build a bigger platform for myself before coming to YouTube. But that's all I really want to say about this illustration and where I am now at, as a YouTuber and as an artist. I do enjoy what I do, but I don't feel like that I will continue it much longer for right now. Um, but if you do want more tutorials or any advice, tips, anything like that, please feel free to leave comments down below. I will make videos for those type of things or answer questions. But for this illustration, that's pretty much it. And I will see you guys in my next one. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.